So now it's a time to talk about leaves. Here I take four colors on the brush. Yellow, purple, water marine and red. Well, we try to paint the simplest leaves. Similar movements, perhaps without even turning the brush over. Here is such a rainbow turns out. And if we expand the brush, it turns out like this. If you want to draw leaves with a thin rim, you must take any color, yellow or green color on the brush and just a little sink the tip of the brush and you will get a thin rim. The leaf turns out neat and thin. Then I show you two drawing options. Here is a one leaf, here is a large part of the leaf, and here is a smaller one. In the same way you can have a direction in that side. This is a narrow part. For example the white part. Here the version of the narrow part can be made the light side outwards. The second option done with similar strokes or lapping they often do it in the style of Zostava. The second movement is of course the white side up, the dark side down. In addition in the direction without crossing the borderline like a twist. We do the same on the same leaf. In general there is no difference. Here is a more illuminated white part. You can draw small corners with the tip of a thin brush. It is as they are bent. Here is how it can curve it here. Here too, you can correct everything, take a thin brush and draw white streaks. You can still draw a streak here. The main thing is at the wave-like movement of the smear is correct. There is also another element of fishing line. Here the dark side of the brush can be done like this. In addition here is where the dark side of the brush to turn the leaf. It can be painted over. No big deal. This part can be made with thin brush and we bend the leaf. As for the color, you can change it as you like. Here the upper part is taken in this color, the lower part in this color. This take for a change. Next we will look at these leaves, such famous ones made in Italian style. Four of three in a group, take this, I made a copy of this painting. Here I made a sketch in advance. 
In addition, make a clay and green drawing. The color mix it with a pure green, not dark and not very light. To make it look both dark and light shades, such a universal green color, and of course with the addition of acrylic varnish. Withdraw the leaves, everything is tied, and you can draw here. Dry the paint with a hair dryer or just wait for it to dry. We are typing dark green on the one part of the brush and light green on the other. I do paint shading and I draw all the dark places. This leaflet has them right here. I make a dab to the tip from this side. I make overlapping strokes inside the leaf. I mark the center on the leaf and make two or three strokes. Just like this. And next dark stroke here and here. Here counter how many strokes there are so much and draw, but not too much. They are often located in the same parts of leaf. We must draw all dark places. You can start from one leaf or draw step by step all leaves, but don't forget about turning out your brush. Next step, take light green and green on your brush and draw all light parts. I turn out this paint for my convenience and also I am drawing slow and clean. You must draw strokes many times. If you draw your Paint, you must not draw fast. I drawing fast just because I show you. Of course look for your paint where light is part of your leaf. Then your picture has more detail and much tone. Now wear a mask, know about reflex. You mustn't place dark tones and light tones both. If you look for dark part of your paint, then there cannot place it light tones. There can't place it light tones. This rule working for all in drawing. Reflex it is a very important thing. 